Good morning and welcome to the morning coffee with John Plassard. Today, I'm focusing on the market rebound. In fact, could history repeat? The S&P 500, as you know, hit a new all-time high. It's not the first time the stock market traded to an all-time while still in a recession. It happened four times before during the recessions of 1961, 80, 82, and 91. In all those cases, the stock market was up double digit 12 months later, except in 1980, where it was up 7.7% a year later. If history repeats itself, the stock market could rally further in one year. An important point to note is that in the past, new all-time highs were hit either the same month the recession ended or one year later. Between April and June, U.S. real GDP declined 32.9% from the previous quarter. It's the largest quarterly drop on record for data dating back to 1947. Goldman Sachs predict that third quarter GDP will jump a record of 25% as the economy benefits it from states that were able to reopen. Even with this rebound, GDP, U.S. GDP would still end the year down 4.6%. Although the U.S. recession is likely over, it's much different than the others. The recession may be technically over, but production is well below what it was early in the year and growth may not be as fast. The decline in output has been so severe that it could take years to return to the activity level we saw in late 2019. The pandemic impacted all parts of the economy. The fact that the S&P 500 has recouped its losses from the pandemic reflects more the unprecedented action taken by central bankers than the real economy strengths. By lowering interest rate to zero and buying trillions of dollars in bonds, the Federal Reserve has prompted investors to bet on risky stocks, especially tech stocks. If we have a double dip recession, the stock market will likely crash again. History might not repeat itself this time. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Read my morning and keep on winning.